Vancouver Island North is traditionally one of the tightest races anywhere in Canada. Sometimes it's a conservative stronghold, other times it's a riding that leans to the left. Last time it was one of the last ones decided. It's anybody's guess what's going to happen there on Monday night, but both the Conservatives and the NDP are making a strong final push for votes. Incumbent Conservative John Duncan held two news conferences today simply to announce that he doesn't think his NDP challenger can beat him. As A News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us, the New Democrat says that's proof that the orange crush may be headed west. How are you doing? First, it was Jack Layton, then Stephen Harper. Both federal leaders have already made final push visits to Vancouver Island North, but this Friday, Layton will be doing it again. It's a wonderful privilege to have the leader come and a, a real acknowledgement that this is an important riding. Visits by both leaders is seen by many as a strong indication of how tight the race is. The sense is that Ottawa is broken and it's time to fix it and people really want to see change. And together we can pull this off, we can make changes. Ronna Ray Leonard appears confident but incumbent John Duncan says she shouldn't be. He claims he's the only candidate qualified to represent Vancouver Island North. After more than four weeks, uh, nine all-candidate meetings that I've attended so far. I'm confident in saying that none of my opponents actually understand this riding. Duncan made that bold declaration today in Courtney. He called a news conference to make an important statement about the election campaign, but that statement was more of a commentary on his competition's campaign tactics. Well, our main competitors have been using highly partisan and negative tactics that we have focused on our positive record of achievement. Duncan singled out the NDP criticizing the party's proposal to build ships instead of airplanes and its position in favor of the long arms registry. These kinds of statements do not indicate a good understanding of this community or this riding. The first thing you can ask yourself is who was it that voted with the Conservatives and the rest of the party to introduce the HST to British Columbia. Vancouver Island North is often portrayed as a race between the Conservatives and the NDP, but the Liberal candidate says not to count him out. I think we're growing. We've, we've got momentum. We've got uh, uh, a lot of moderate voters in the Valley and in Campbell River. Uh, the Vancouver Island North, uh, uh, they've tried the left wing and the right wing so long. I think the change in this riding would be to try a, a moderate party. Although his boss, Michael Ignatieff, hasn't been anywhere near the North Island riding, Holland says his campaign hasn't been left out. Sheila Copps is coming to town to help out the campaign. We've had different people, you know, uh, come by and uh, lend a hand, uh, Bob Ray and Ujjal Dessange. That Sheila Copps visit takes place in Courtney on Friday night, the same evening Jack Layton stops in. In the Comox Valley, Gord Kerbis, A News.